Hey everyone, in this video, I will tell you about the PRP therapy or the platelet rich plasma therapy for hair growth. Platelet rich plasma is a concentrate of platelet rich plasma protein which is derived from whole blood, then centrifuged to remove the red blood cells. Nowadays, PRP has become a popular treatment for many conditions in sport medicine, regenerative medicine, aesthetic medicine and hair loss treatment as it contains a variety number of growth factors and cytokines that can accelerate wound healing and tissue restoration. Some in the medical community think that PRP injections trigger natural hair growth and maintain it by increasing blood supply to the hair follicle and increasing the thickness of the hair shaft. The effectiveness of stimulating tissue regeneration depends on the concentration of platelets present in the plasma. So a higher concentration of platelets shows more effectiveness. Let's now go to the PRP therapy process. PRP therapy is a three step process and most PRP therapy requires three treatments four to six weeks apart. Maintenance treatments are required every four to six months. The steps of PRP procedure include first, a person's blood is drawn usually from the arm and approximately 10 to 60 milliliters of blood is drawn. Then this blood is centrifuged in a centrifuge machine which divides it into three layers. The bottom layer contains red blood cells. The middle layer is platelet rich plasma and the top layer is platelet poor plasma. The platelet rich plasma is now drawn up into a syringe and then this is injected into the area of the scalp that needs increased hair growth. Let's now see what is the mechanism of action of PRP. The activated platelets in the PRP release numerous growth factors and cytokines which play a major role in stimulating hair growth through cell proliferation, differentiation and angiogenesis. So the use of platelet rich plasma in hair disorders includes endogenetic alopecia, that is male pattern baldness. It can also be used in female pattern hair loss, which is the most common cause of hair loss in middle aged women. Third is alopecia errata. Alopecia errata is a common autoimmune disorder that causes non scarring alopecia in males and females at any age. Next is cicatricial alopecia. Cicatricial alopecia is a type of scarring alopecia which is caused by different inflammatory conditions, physical trauma, burn or severe infections that lead to the destruction of the hair follicles and subsequent scarring. PRP therapy can also be used in conjunction with hair transplantation. Let me now tell you about the adverse effects of platelet rich plasma therapy. Now since the PRP therapy involves injecting your own blood into your scalp, you aren't at risk for getting a communicable disease. Minimal adverse effects may include temporary and tolerable pain during treatment, mild headache, minimal itching and transient erythema and edema on the treated area may be seen. After treatment, patient can resume normal daily activities and no antibiotics are usually needed to prevent the infection. A word of caution, be sure to report all medications you are on before the procedure including any supplements and herbs to your doctor. When you go for your initial consultation, many providers will recommend against PRP for hair loss if you are on blood thinners, if you are a heavy smoker, if you have a history of alcohol or drug misuse. You may also be rejected for treatment if you have been diagnosed with acute or chronic infections, cancer, in case of chronic liver disease, in case of chronic skin disease, metabolic disorders, platelet dysfunction syndromes, systemic disorders, sepsis, if you have a low platelet count and if you have a thyroid disease. So to conclude, I would like to say that if you are concerned about hair loss, you have a number of options including medication and hair transplant therapy. Another consideration is PRP therapy. So talk to your doctor to see which treatment or combination of treatments is best choice for you. So that's all for now. I hope you like this video. Thank you.